Well, before you throw the flushable wipes in the toilet, consider this. It could contaminate the water you drink. Meteorologist Aaron Moran takes a look at how these and other contaminants can seriously impact our environment and our water supply. Rain is a blessing, especially in drought ridden Texas. But that same rainwater can overflow clogged pipes, sending untreated sewage out of the manholes and into our water. A lot of people don't realize that the storm drain inlets that there are in their neighborhood are actually flow directly into the nearest creek and that's untreated. So when people pour oil down the storm drain inlets or when they allow um, you know, their pesticide or, or fertilizers to run off of their property, that actually goes untreated into the nearest creek. Um, and then in the DFW, all of that flows to the Trinity River. Echo Rex Road is an environmental quality manager with the city of Plano. She says fats, oils, grease dumped down the kitchen sink, along with so-called flushable wipes in the toilet, can end up clogging our home sewer lines. And after a heavy rainfall, all of that untreated sewage water, fertilizer from gardens, and oils from our cars all end up in creeks, rivers, and lakes. All of these reservoirs that these creeks and streams are flowing into, this is where we get our drinking water, this is where we recreate, this is where wild, wildlife reside. And so we really have to be cognizant about what we allow to go into the storm drain inlets. This can lead to bacteria buildup in our drinking and recreational water. Bacteria like E. coli and algae blooms leading to fish kills. In February, a sample from Lake Granbury detected the golden algae bloom. That makes the water look like this. It was classified as highly toxic to fish. We really have to think about, you know, do we want to do a barrel roll in our kayak if the, there's so much bacteria in the water? So to do our part, she says collect those fats, oils, and grease into another container and bring that to a recycling center or a household hazardous waste center, and they'll dispose of it for you. It can also go into regular trash. Leaking vehicle? Put a drip pan under it and dispose of that oil properly. And even if it says it's septic safe, leave those wipes in a trash and not in the toilet. All these little daily things that we need to think about, um, just making sure that nothing gets into the storm drain inlets. Doing our part to keep our earth, water, and the air clean for generations to come. And that was Aaron Moran reporting. The EarthX Festival, the film festival, is underway in Dallas. It'll showcase science, conservation, climate change, and the environment while honoring people working to protect our planet. This year's film festival is taking place at three outdoor locations, the Cedars, Victory Park, and Clyde Warren Park, or you can watch it online. It runs through Sunday. And here's something else for you. We've got a coloring book that's free to download from our website. On CBSDFW.com, simply click on links and numbers. And we're going to have more stories about the environment all this week.